Hey, I hope you guys are doing well. If you have a 4Runner or a Tacoma or even a Tundra with the 3.4 liter and it does something like this, You may want to stick around. I'm going to go through all the symptoms that I had and then give you the diagnosis that I had and I'll make sure I put this video out after I do all the work and make sure that it is correct. Um, but I'm going to run through everything that I had happen on my car and what led to its uh, cylinder 4 misfire. So I had been driving the car about 50 miles throughout the day and I started up to drive uh, back home and the vehicle was really shaky. Uh, the RPMs were about normal, it was around like six, 700 when I was at idle, but the vehicle was shaking heavily and upon acceleration, it would you know, gradually kind of fade out, um, but it was definitely noticeable that there was something wrong with the vehicle. Eventually the check engine light came on. I was able to make it into an auto parts store. Uh, right before they closed, they pulled the code for me and it was the P0304, meaning a cylinder four misfire. Now, the uh, main things that'll cause a misfire will be uh, the spark plug itself, the spark plug wires, and then the ignition coils, and you have three of them on this engine, um, one that is used for two cylinders, so you'll have cylinders, I think it's uh, three and six, one and four, and two and five, um, and what you can do is you can swap those coil packs, and if the misfire then appears on another cylinder, you notice the coil pack, uh, but I wasn't really sure if that was it, because I was thinking if uh, the coil pack was bad, it'd probably be two cylinders misfiring as it, you know, is responsible for two cylinders. But I did it anyway and there was no difference. It was still cylinder four that was misfiring. So then I went to the spark plug itself. I don't know when these spark plugs were changed out last. They last a super long time, so I haven't changed them. But I went ahead and swapped one out and when I pulled it out, I noticed that it was very white on the end. So I'm going to pull it up for you guys. Let's see here. Okay, I don't know how well you can tell. But it is super white on the tip of the spark plug. And this is the old one. I have a, a new one. I didn't end up swapping them back. Uh, but that would indicate that the vehicle is running super lean in that specific cylinder. So that is what led me to it being the fuel injector. Now it could be the spark plug wire, but in my uh, thinking, if it was the spark plug wire, the um, spark plug itself would still be a little bit of a blackish color. It wouldn't be that powdery chalky white on the tip. So it shows that it still gets spark, it just isn't getting fuel. And so that is what has led me to believing that it is in fact a fuel injector. And now I'll fire it up just so you guys can kind of hear and kind of see the vehicle uh, shake when it has this misfire. So with that you can kind of see how the vehicle is, is shaking. Um, when you stick your hand on the fender of it you can really feel the vehicle's kind of wobbling around at idle um, and as you drive along you can definitely tell. If you punch it say above 2000 RPMs it kind of reaches a, a nice balance in the, in the engine and um, it kind of smooths out a little bit but when you're driving along you're not wanting to constantly have to like fluctuate your RPMs to get it above 2000 uh, in order to keep it smooth and over time what you'll have happen is if the fuel is not burning in that cylinder you can ruin the rings you can get gas in your oil so you'll need to change out your oil um, and then you can also have that unburnt fuel go into your catalytic converter and ruin your catalytic converter so it is pretty important if you're having a misfire to go ahead and fix it sooner rather than later so I'll drop a video of me doing the fuel injector job um, and hopefully everything goes smoothly but hopefully this video is beneficial to you guys and if you're having these similar symptoms maybe this leads you to um, the proper diagnosis um, and you can get it fixed uh, or do it yourself and knock it on out. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and as always I'll catch you in the next one.